All right, so we made it back to the car, which it turned out I forgot to lock. So responsible adult. Um, and we're, we're off home. So we had a, a fun day at the festival. We saw all sorts of things, like when we saw the, the Harry Krishnas doing their song and dance, the guy came over and introduced himself to me. Basically, the second I stopped the camera footage on this clip was when a guy came over and said, you know, hey, you should consider reading these books and joining our religion, or at least giving us some coins. And I was like, yeah, yeah I don't have any coins, though. Now, if you look in the background, you'll be able to see the event is just packed. There's people wandering around the streets. It's just chaos out here. Um, it's okay, we're going to get closer. You can calm down. Um, I have to wait for this traffic, though, because, oh my god, they just keep coming. Where are all these cars coming from? All right, I think we're good now. I hope so. All right, yep, we're good. Now, yeah, if you look directly in front of us, we'll just see swarms of people like on the corners and just at the festival. Maybe wait till we're out of the traffic, it'll be fine. Because, you know, there might be too many cars directly in front. Um, so, of all of the booths that we went to, I think three people were happy that I was filming them. One person was questioning that I was filming them. And one person was not happy that I was filming at her booth. Um, it was this woman here with these hats. Look at these hats. Yeah, woman from those hats was not happy. Oh, look out here, look out the window right now, and you'll see the event still ongoing. Just people all, all over the event. You can see by the traffic, this is why we parked on the grass in the first place, was because there was just no parking near this event. And for several blocks and streets nearby, um, no parking available at all. So unless you want to park on the grass, you're basically parking a mile away from the action. So four wheel drive. But there we go, there's the event, um, there's this guy with the microphone over there, he'll come up again at the end of this video. So, good on you microphone guy. I paid him $2 to use his microphone, so let's hope that was worthwhile. At this festival I spent a total of $5. $2 on the microphone man, $3 on my kebab on a stick, and uh, my camera woman spent $50. Sorry, I ratted you out. <laughs> Look at this. Good festival. Mm. That uh, chicken lump of meat. Really good, really oily. I got a shot of them simmering in the oil, just bubbling and cooking away for a good minute or so. And then the woman that's the cook, come running over, sees me with the camera and goes, no, 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 you can't, you can't, no, no, no. So, I don't know. Uh, does that count as another person telling me not to film? Because then I've had two people telling me not to film. So the lady with the hats, the lady boiling the, the kebabs. I also had the guy here with these bottles of wine. He said, are you filming me, sweetie? And I said, uh, no, just the bottles of wine. And he goes, they're fine wine. So, yeah, look at this beautiful ocean. Look at this traffic. Look how far these cars are just lined up down the road. This is why it was impossible to get a real parking space. So, don't you judge me. Four wheel drive, four wheel drive, four wheel drive. I had a nice day at the, uh, at the event. It was, it was what, maybe a eight out of 10, six out of 10, nine out of 10. I don't know, it's all over the scale. What scale are we using? Nobody knows. In the way of food, I would say 9 out of 10. In the way of pleasant people, I would say 8 out of 10. In the way of staying out of the sun, I should have bought a parasol with me and not my jacket. I remember there's a man, candy man with his hat. He's selling the candies. And uh, he said to me, where are you from, love? And I said, I'm from here. And he says, not in that outfit, you're not. You must be cooking. And I was like, whoa, I'm training for Australia. I'm going to Australia soon. It's going to be fucking cooking. Also, if I'm not wearing a long sleeve, then my arms get burned in the sun. You know, I have a very distinct dungeon tan. I don't want to get cooked in the sun. God damn it. But anyway, that was my time at the event. Hope you enjoyed. Look at all of these booths. I saw two slime booths. 
and I saw, oh look at this right here, oh look at that over there. My camera woman doesn't know where to look because I'm, I'm imagining cutting to these various shots from earlier. Oh wow, look at that, there's a dog and some hats, wow. My camera woman thought I'd lost my damn mind. Yeah, no, this is for editing for later, it'll be fine. It'll all come together just fine, maybe. Alright, well that's the video I guess. Uh, also, there was a lady who was selling the unique hats in the shape of unicorn and stuff. And when I was at her booth, uh, she was blocking my view of the unicorns and stuff. So I asked her, can I film? And she said, I could only film if I include her logo. So here's her logo. Make sure to go and visit her thing. So here it is. Yay. Also, look at this traffic right now in the real life. There's just cars queued all the way down. I've driven away from the event for the last 10 minutes. And for the last 10 minutes, just an endless stream of cars heading to the event still. Ridiculous. What a popular event. Oh well, let's leave. Bye. Hello. What do you want to do? Uh, I want to get a video of me saying like and subscribe to my YouTube. Yes. Yeah. Two dollars. That's right. Are we good? Hello. Please make sure to like and subscribe. That's what you can do. Two bucks. Two bucks. Hey, Ted Casey, and uh, promoting this guy. Go and play some music. Come, come get in here. Thank you for uh, watching the video. Like and subscribe. Thank you.